Hi, and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can create text marquees for your site using the text marquee widget from our key add-ons for Elementor plugin. We are on the page where you can see some examples of how this widget can be used and its possible stylization options. Some of these include different text effects, variations in color, adjustments to the typography options, and so on. You can also combine this widget with other elements such as images, section titles, buttons, and more. Essentially, you can mix the widgets from the key add-ons collection to your heart's content. So, let's take a look at how you can use this widget and customize it. Head over to the back end, and in the Elementor sidebar, search for Text Marquee. There it is. Now, let's drag it over to the right. And this is how the Text Marquee looks by default. It has some placeholder content that we'll be replacing shortly. And that's done here, using the items. When you open the first one, you can see it says example text 1. The second is for example text 2, the third for 3, and so on. I don't need the last one, so I'll click here to remove it. Then I'll replace the text in my first item. Instead of example text 1, I'll put auto scroll. I'm copying the content of an example from the widgets page just to help you see how the whole thing works. And I'll copy this and use it in my second item as well. OK, paste. There. If you want to add more items, you can click on this button to do that. Now, the option underneath this, Developer Tools, when we open them, we can see there's just one option here. If we switch its setting to Yes, it will display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode, which we can easily copy for use elsewhere on our site. Alright, let's move on to the Style tab and see what we have in there. The first thing we have is the color option. We can use it to adjust the text color. Then we have the typography options. We can pick the font for our title. I'm going to search for the one I want to use since I know its name. This is it. Then we can change the size by using this slider or by typing in a new value. I'll set 160 pixels for mine. And using the weight option we can turn our title bold, which I'll do by setting 700 here. OK. Then we have the text transform option, which we can use to make our text uppercase, lowercase, capitalized or normal. I'll use uppercase. And we have the style option, which we can use to change the text style. Following that, the decoration lets us add a line over or under our text. Then the line height lets us adjust the height of the line with our text. So you can get more space if you need it. Below that, we have the letter spacing option, which lets us create more space between letters. And that's it for the typography options. After that, we have the text stroke effect. If I switch this to yes, the text changes its look and becomes outlined. To change its color, you can use the slider or set a new hex code, which is what I'll do to make my text light gray. If you like, you can make the text outline thicker by increasing the value here. OK. Our final option is space between items. By changing the value here, you can change the amount of space between the text from items 1 and 2, or however many items you have. I'm going to set 30 for mine. Alright. Since that's the last option, I'll save my work and we can see how it looks in the finished stage. And here we are. My marquee is there and even though the content of both my items is the same so they're hard to tell apart, we can see the text moving along just as it should. So this is my element done. But if you recall the example from the widgets page, the text marquee there is placed underneath an image. As a bonus feature, I'd like to show you now how to set different elements to overlap using that section as an example. Here we are. My text marquee is the same one we set up earlier. I just added a new section below it, copying the elements used on the widgets page. Now, to create the overlap, you need to go here and click on the middle icon, the one that will let you edit the section. Then open the advanced options, so this tab. And under the margin settings, we'll add a negative top margin. So for starters, we need to delink the fields. Then we can start decreasing the margin value for the top of this section. And if you look on the right, you can see how the whole section climbs over the one above it, with the text marquee, thanks to the negative value. I'll manually set minus 90 pixels to get the position I want. 
then update and let's see it without the frame. There it is, the overlapping section from the examples on the widgets page. Now that that's done, we can take one last look at that page. Having gone over the options in the back end, you should now know how to make all of these. You can use these examples as designs to mirror or just as inspiration. Alternatively, you can easily create something unique. You just need to decide which of the possibilities offered by the text marquee widget work best with the style and design of your site. I hope going through this together has helped you to see how easy making elements can be with the key add-ons for Elementor plugin and its text marquee widget. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching.